Alright guys, I promised y'all a short little video uh, just to cover some of the special features of the Gigabyte Z97X UD5H. Uh, right now we're going to look at the SATA Express and the M.2 connections. Um, both of those are controlled by the Marvell 88SE9172 chip uh, that is located here. Tiny little chip you can barely see. I can't get much of a close up. I don't really have a macro lens for my camera. I apologize. Uh, but there's not much to look at. It's just a little black square chip. But uh, So you have the SATA Express, which uses a secondary connection. And when using the SATA Express, uh, it uses the full speed of the PCI lanes. And you can get speeds up to 10 gigabits per second. Uh, as opposed to the normal SATA 3, which we all know is 6 gigabits per second. Some of those... Uh, options aren't readily available on the market yet, but this is just future-proofing the, um, the motherboard itself with the M.2 and the SATA Express already available on there, uh, again, for future uh, peripherals. So then we can take a look right over here in the center. You can see the M.2, and it even says the 10 gigabits per second right there. And you have a few positions here. You can see the screw here, and you'll have to move it to one of these other slots if that's what size you use. Um, but it takes all three main sizes of the small form factor SSD for the M.2. And uh, again, that is still controlled by that Marvell chip. Flip it back around. I want to take another quick look here at the SATA Express and mention this. You have your standard SATA ports here, your three, two, five, and four. When you use the SAT Express or the M.2, your 5 and 4 become uh, no longer available. You can only use one at a time, either the 5 and 4, the SAT Express, or the M.2, because they're all going to use the same channel uh, to transmit data. So you, you can't switch between them. If you plug in a SAT Express, 5 and 4 become unavailable. If you plug in an M.2, the others become unavailable. So it will automatically step up and use the, uh, you know, the more dominant, faster connections. So that's that, covering the SATA Express. Pretty nice to see some, uh, you know, pretty nice to see some future proofing done on the motherboards. So it'll be quite a while before you want to upgrade beyond one of these bad boys.